Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Casual Fridays. Uh, I'm Scott. I'm alone at the moment, but that won't stop us from playing some super expert in Super Mario Maker. Uh, we're at 91 followers, we're trying to get to 100. So please tell your friends and family. Or just your friends, I don't know. Uh, let's go straight into it because we saw last week how long this can take. Um, I would really like to beat one of these on stream with all... with, re with lives remaining from the 100. Um, so here we go, over to Super Expert. I'm keeping an eye on to chat through my new overlay. It's actually me watching the screen right now. Um, so let's see how this goes. Alright. I might look down at my gamepad because it's got slightly less latency than my capture card. Alright, here we go. One of six. The Great Galumba's Doomba. Alright. Alright, I think I know what to do here. Ah! Alright, I have to be quicker. a good start. probably better with Galumba's Doomba. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh. What the? Well, that seems useful if I can get to that. Hmm. Pericord says, I just come in and we already have the first skip. Super Expert TXT. Exactly! Yes. Uh, hi, Lassiku. Uh, one of our regulars. Yes, we're jumping straight into Super Expert. I would really like to finish one of these on stream to prove that I can. Uh, there we go. That's better. Okay. Alright, that didn't work out. Whoa! Go Goomba's in the sky as well. That's not cool. That's not cool! Five lives down, no levels completed. Tass, tass. That's always a good sign. Oh, no way. No, I'm not doing this. I know what I have to do here. There's no way I'm able to drop that mid-air. <sighs> Find Yoshi. Now, this is something I can get on board with. All right. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
Right. Let's take this P block with us as far as we can go. Ah! There he is! There's Yoshi! There he is! <laughs> Find Yoshi! <laughs> I found him! Is uh, the frame rate nice and smooth for you guys? Let me know in the chat, please. My preview is not perfectly smooth, but it could be just loading the lowest quality buffering there. Alright, this is the first one that seems semi doable so far. It looks okay to me. Perry Cord, is that my friend Perry or another Perry? And also, you seem to have lost your Turbo membership in the last five minutes. Unless you've just switched a different account. Take that. Yay. <laughs> yes, that is the one and only Perry. Although, also, no, I did not lose it. I thought the symbol next to my name looked dumb, so I turned off. Okay. All right, that's fair. Yoshi! <laughs> no. Alright, presumably I needed Yoshi to finish this level, but I may as well use the rest of this life to scope out uh, the rest of the stage. Yoshi, no! <laughs> yes! Healthy can. Latest follower, Pericord, yay! I think the lag today on the the splitter isn't so bad. Well, as much as I love Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, this music's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, let's get that fire flare. Also, if you're the Perry I know, which you appear to be, uh, feel free to give me a shout if you want to be on stream. I can always use company on the voice call. 
Uh, but if you're not up for it, don't worry about it. Hey, Nightbot's checking in. Now, Nightbot, you better not ban anybody this week. You got a little power mad towards the end last time. You don't want to make my experience less professional. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> right. Ah! Ah! No! That was going okay. <sighs> Alright. So presumably I can... All right, that doesn't work. Ah! Ah! <laughs> right, well, if you want to join in, Perry, uh, give me a shout and I'll get into the, the hall, uh, or our chat room. Uh, ah! I got overzealous there. Okay. I can do this one, I think. Uh, down to 90 lives. 10 lives down. Hey, we've got Fran there in the chat as well. Hi, Fran. Hope you're having a good week, Fran. How did the uh, the stream go for your recently unveiled game? If you're allowed to talk about it in here. And Perry, you always make a worthy addition to streams. Everyone likes the German accent. Fran is watching this from down the pub. That's very good to hear. I approve. Mario Maker at the pub. I'm not much of a pub goer, but that already sounds like an improvement to the pub experience. Can I can I bop him? You coming down here, Booper? All right, let's pause this and I'll uh, I'll get my friend Perry on. Uh, let's try this. There we go. Be right back. Uh, and I'll get Discord out. Hello, Perry. Hello. Welcome to the Ready Up stream. You're currently live. Yay! Yay! Wow. I, do, I hope it's not too much pressure for you. I mean, you've never done anything in front of <laughs> groups, large groups of people, or... Oh, no. <laughs> Always people getting exposed to my, my voice. But the worst part is that they have to put up with my subpar microphone right now. Oh, it's okay. You're pretty if clear. If it com comes out all right, that's okay. But I tell me if it doesn't. I don't want to sound like you're talking to someone on, a, like, a 90s landline telephone. No, you should be okay. I think I think you're coming through loud and clear. Uh, people in the chat, let us know if the audio balance for Perry is good as well. Lassiku, thank you for joining us. Have a good night. Let's see if I can get back to this. Yep, uh, let me know if I sound like a doofus or I just sound too quiet or loud. Doofus part is kind of a... <laughs> we, we can't do anything about that. Oh. Yeah, but the volume, you know. There's only so much technology you can do about the volume. Should be fine. So let us know if that's... Good or not. Ah! 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 And this time keep Yoshi. Keep Yoshi this. Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, Perry. 
Oh, I'm, I'm gonna delay, so... <laughs> yep. I'm gonna see the inevitable death of Yoshi. Uh... Yoshi yeah. was... Yoshi made... Uh, Yoshi actually reduced my jump height. Uh, oh! <laughs> so right. I wasn't able to get to that pipe anyway. So maybe that is intentional. But yeah, maybe cool. maybe I'm not supposed to have Yoshi this far in. Ah! Damn. I'm very screamy tonight, I apologise. I'm not normally this screamy. <laughs> no, that's alright. That's, that's an adjective now, screamy. Well, it's it's appropriate for super expert, as far as I've seen in this game. It's by the way, by the way, when I logged in, I still don't think anyone's beat it. I mean, I'd need to check the stats. Uh, but I did get a notification telling me one more person had played Galumba's Paradise. Oh, the beautiful, most beautiful creation. The Anyone could master. MLG <laughs> Pro Top 5 Mario Maker level. I got no, I know it's, it's, it's average at best, but... I'm I'm like, if I, hey, for your first level, it's pretty good. Yeah, it came out harder than I anticipated, boy. Yeah. I thought, oh, this is cool, this is fine, but... And again, I'm a platforming nerd, so I, yeah. I probably... I probably just didn't, didn't assume correctly on the... On the, uh, on the difficulty stage, <laughs> yes. People were struggling with it a bit. Yeah, but you know, it's fine, but I didn't want to actually make something hard, so I guess I, I fell a little bit like, oops. That's I'm right. too hardcore. If there's one type of game I'm really hardcore in this platforming. Anything else, I'm like, uh, I guess, but no. So, Platformers are my thing. we currently have 89 lives. Now, Super Expert consists of six stages, so there'll be a cut-off point. Basically, basically this is a giant balancing act between winning, win, knowing when to skip levels for the sake of making making them doable mm -hmm. uh, versus how many lives I've got left. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh, and that's how you actually beat this. And I've been a bit too... Ah! Reckless. Uh, there we go. Uh, I've been a bit too reckless uh, on the previous run, uh, but this time I might have to just against my pride to say this is a nice level i think it's all right i think this, this one's doable beatable. i think this one's yeah, doable Yeah, but you might have to yeah i'll see how many lives i use up on this one yeah well, that makes sense but it is counterintuitive like you said when you actually have your sight set on a level and you actually want to beat it but i wonder there might not be room for doing that i wonder if i put the switch down uh, the trampoline down here. No, it's still not gonna make it. I was hoping I could figure out some way. Keep Yoshi. Yeah, some way to keep Yoshi bad. Doesn't look like it's possible. No, careful with the spring. Yeah. Ah, can you go the distance? Nope. The problem is that oh! you don't have the cape. I did it. With the cape, I think with the cape you could do that. Oh yeah, the cape definitely. All right, can I eat these? No, I can't. All oh. right. Keeping Yoshi might not be any use at this point. <laughs> uh, extra, ex I guess like an extra hit. Yep. Ah! This is like Ooh. a death zone. You were in this earlier and it already looked like, wow, if you get stuck down there, you're basically dead. All right, I've got the triple. I've got, I've got the the fire clone car. Yes. Remember, my commentary is always always horribly outdated for you because <laughs> twenty second um, lag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very laggy, but it's not it's not too bad. It's not too a bad. Few seconds before I saw it. So. I'm gonna hang back and shoot Bowser. Safely. Oh, I love it! They put Bowser on the on rails. Layer buildy thing. So he gets to just kind of move up and down. I've got the time, I've got the time, let's not... Yeah. I do like the idea of the fire clown car. Uh oh, there's two Bowsers. Oh, of course. <laughs> there's three Bowsers. Oh but my there, God, I... there is the end of the level. This could be our first win if I just play this carefully. Okay, be careful, be careful with all the Bowsers. But I admittedly like the idea of just having a sky battle against Bowser's. Maybe that's an old hack and I just haven't seen it, but I like it. 
Certainly, uh, it's been done before, but maybe not like this. And certainly the fire clown car has added another element to it. Oh, totally. I love the fire clown car. It's easily one of my favorite additions that they made in Mario Maker versus the original game. Yep. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Alright, just take my time. Alright, one Bowser down. Well, two if you count the other one, but... Yeah, you can do this, you can do this. Just take my time. Star Fox got nothing on us. <laughs> Star Fox Maker actually sounds like a good idea when you think about it. I'm on I'm on board with that. Oh, here we go! Come on! The 3D portion might make it a bit more difficult, but I don't know, making like simple courses to fly in and placing rings and enemies actually sounds fun. Uh, yes. We got it. Nice. All right, I'm one down, you. five to go. Nice. I'm still watching you destroy the stones. There we go. You're hidden the goal. I'll nice. give that one a star because I beat it. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was beatable, and it didn't look like it was purposely jerking you around. Yeah, it wasn't just a troll level. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't called Tass. It didn't have tool assisted <laughs> in the name. <laughs> Maybe they meant, um... Oh my god! Alright, well wait until you see this nonsense. Okay, okay. I wanna see some nonsense, please. The Great Mystery House! Is this a Scooby-Doo level? Okay. Or it's just dumb. Yeah, it's just <laughs> dumb. How do you beat that one? I mean, you have to beat these levels to put them online. How you do you do. beat this one? You do. Uh, it's a skip, though. I'm not wasting... That's just a lives eater. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I can freely skip if I wasn't about to die, which I'm not right now, so I'm gonna freely skip this one as well. La promenade de la mort cute 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 cute. I can't speak French. Ah! Oh, come on! So, uh, a promenade of death or something? Yes, basically. I got mort, yeah. Mort, death, and promenade. Mort. It's only a mort if you have an E at the end. Ah. Remember, French people only pronounce half the letters in the thing. Uh, yeah, that's at true. Any given point. That's true. I was thinking of Discworld for a second. Mm. Mm. That's not a bad thing to think about, so you're very much forgiven. <laughs> I like when it comes that, that they just come completely out of the sky. Mm hmm. Alright. So there's one there. Oh, come on. <laughs> I died while taking a drink. I think I can do this one, maybe, but it might just be trolltacular all the way along. Well, it does kind of promise that when it says it's called the Promenade of Death. It did not sell itself short. I bet that just takes me back. Oh my god, oh, come on, guy. Guy, buddy, friend. Alex. If that is your real name. Because it might not be. This seems trolltacular, like you said. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I see you're skipping it now. No, no, I, I went to and then I was like, mm. I'll give it one more go. What do you think, Perry? The pile of fire, fire flowers here. I bet if I go down and collect those, it'll just block me in with blocks. Of course. Assume the worst of a level like this. <laughs> Assume anything it gives to you is not for it. Yep. There's gonna be hidden blocks on there, guaranteed.
So there was even a Bowser sound effect thingy. Mm hmm. Probably tell you, hey, everything is bad. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> ah! ah! You almost died to those ghosts. Almost. Wait until you'll see what I was screaming at when the stream starts up. Catches up. There was another bullet, Bill. Oh, lots of lots of giant piranha plants. Oh my god, with giant fireballs. Well, this level seems beatable, but it's also just kind of really random, so... Oh! Okay. So you're not missing out on anything amazing if you do decide to skip. Yeah, I did. I, I managed to get surprisingly far there. Oh, and I picked, I picked the right door. Then I uh, got hit by all the random garbage. Yep. See, the other level at least was kind of neatly designed, like not amazing, but it actually had something going for it. I'm, I'm sure it sounded like a like a wine like a wine testing snob here, but <laughs> it had it had uh, hints of <laughs> it had a it had a hint of uh, extra thoughtful gameplay. You know, in your well, it's in your mouth. It feels a little bit <laughs> red, but the aftertaste has a nice flower to it. A nice fire flower. Yes, that, exactly that. <laughs> no, but you, you get, probably get what I mean. This is kind of like the typical everything in the, at the kitchen sink approach to it. I want to make a hard level. I'll use every single thing available to me, yeah. and it'll be hard. <laughs> Alright, well, I appreciate someone being here to suffer with me. Um, you're welcome. That's the I motto of to... the pasture. <laughs> I just have to make... I just have to make sure that um, when my dear fiancé comes here, mm -hmm. he doesn't just enter the room and yell things into the night. <laughs> oh, that does sound like him, yes. <laughs> he threatened to do it when I told him, please don't randomly come into my room, I'm doing the stream, and he's like, what? <laughs> didn't invite me and I'm definitely gonna randomly come Oh, out. right, okay. I hit my 10 live limit for for that level, so I've switched out. Uh, and I may Does have got... automatically or is that your person? No, that's my person. Nothing happened. It would go forever if I let it. Or until you're out of lives, I guess. Yeah, or, yeah, exactly, until you run out. Which is the main problem with this challenge. Oh, I appreciate the thought where they try to actually give the different difficulty levels for different players to work with. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Super Expert seems like it, it comes inherently with some flaws when you give human beings the ability to provide content for other human beings. <laughs> Basically just being very non really trolly nonsense. Straight into a room of chain chomps. I admittedly thought the Wiggler thing was kind of funny. Like, when Wiggler's chasing you underwater, you don't usually see that. Yeah. It wasn't actually too bad once I forced them up, but... Yeah, no, that was actually something that was a challenge, but you could see what you were supposed to do. Yeah. Yes, I, I didn't even think about that part. I was just kind of, like, feeling like watching you, and... You said come in, I'm like okay, but then you now you said right. It's a it's a suffering thing. Kinda I guess that's kind of That was pretty good. Video. That was pretty good. Uh <laughs> in the chain chomp room you can push right for quite a lot of it. Just hold right. I'm seeing it, yeah, you can actually just kinda like just carefully step under it. But there is a point where they, they do hit each other eventually. Also this level's called Kaizu Mario. <laughs> which is already a great sign. Innovation. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knows about anything about uh, Super Mario World ROM hacking will know what that term usually refers to. Oh, I've seen all those Kaisos. I I've never been really into them, except for the novelty when they were new and everyone was like, oh look at these people on YouTube getting frustrated at Kaizo Mario. That was funny when I was like 14, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when it was a novelty, I get that. 14! It, it, it was exciting that you could do something like that with an existing game. But then everyone did it, everyone and their mom did it, and it's like, okay. 
I guess I had to hit that block. Most of these are not even that good, so I appreciate Mario Maker giving people the ability to make these things. Regardless of whether they're good, but you don't need to be a ROM hacker or anything. Yeah. Just have fun with it, which, you know, even the levels suck. I'm always like, you know, someone has fun making that. That's, that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, uh, you think you... yeah. Oh, you still made that one jump? Uh, it's also... there's also quite a strict time limit on this level. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing it. At least on my stream, you're already at 130 mm -hmm. seconds. I'm just gonna have to take a risk on this one. No. That's probably the idea of the time limit being like this. But there seems to be never win the way you can finish it. That's the one thing I like. There's always a guarantee it is beatable in some way. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily in a reasonable way. It's not completely it's abhorrent, it. yeah. If you were really, really dedicated or lucky or just actually really good. Ah! So those start immediately, okay. <laughs> Come on. Alright, alright, alright. Oh no, I have to deal with it on both sides, technically. <clears throat> right, so if I get, get past that, just do a straight run. Okay. And if uh, the chat can hear anyone typing, it's Perry. Sorry, I'm stop in a sec. <laughs> No worries. I'm just trying to let more people know that we're doing this thing. I should probably have just muted myself first. That's See, okay. I told you, I'm not professional now. <laughs> That's okay. I appreciate you letting more people know. No, of course. No, I, I'm being entertained, so other people should be entertained as well. Someone else should join the misery, is what you're saying. <laughs> oh, no, they intentionally made that first swamp lower, so you have to trigger it, then run pack. Ah! Alright. I've almost reached my 10 life limit. Yep. Oh, come on. I made it, but then I screwed up. <laughs> Alright, I've got to see what's on that bridge, and then I'll give up if I die after that. There. Now, this time I muted myself. Oh. Like a pro. Alright, we're going up the lift. Uh, oh, that's nasty. Alright, here we go. Ah! Damn. <laughs> Alright, I, I gotta give up. Not let my ma not let my pride get in the way. Move, move to a new level. Oh, Mad Surge has joined us. Hi, Mad Surge. Yes, it's it's Scott, one and only, playing these wonderful, super expert Mario levels. And by wonderful, I mean eh. Tor horrifying. <laughs> one of the two we're actually kind of neat, and the rest are kind of okay. What? Oh, this is a great start. That's it's all, great start. it's an amazing start. You'll see. I just gave up on that one. Just power blocks. <laughs> just power blocks. Oh, I see what I have to do. 
That's gonna be difficult. IPK serious life mantra. I imagine this is some sort of training thing, but I'm gonna skip it after this one if I don't do it because I can't risk the lives that this is gonna eat. Oh no. Forget that. What? The time limit is that short? Mm hmm. What are you even supposed to do here then? 10 seconds? You'll see that I managed to figure out a little bit, but I don't have enough time to do it properly. Uh, I guess that's why it's called Life Muncher. That one's. Mm -hmm. out. <sighs> hey, Blarg's here! Blarg! See, then you said you were suffering through these levels. You see, I got all the right people to help you with that. Suffer together. People it's... who know a thing or two about video game related suffering. <laughs> like I said, the thing is that I really enjoy is that even when the level is kind of poop, someone at least had fun making it, but the super expert ones. Mm -hmm. That usually still leads to the idea that someone properly, probably actually sat down to make something to frustrate the heck out of other people. Hey! It's Infetso. Infetso? Infesto. Infesto. So yes, the idea is probably, you know, to actively annoy other people, so I'm like, you know what, someone had fun, but at the same time, several people will not have fun, maybe, <laughs> so... Now I'm actually even wondering if I should feel good about the Super Expert figure. <laughs> Come on! Give me that mushroom! I guess in Nintendo's idealized world view, they thought, oh, it's all just gonna be really like hard but fun stuff. Checkpoint! I'll take Get it. Checkpoint! Whoop. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh. I'm glad it's here. Oh, absolutely. I love the challenge. It's fun to watch you suffer through the challenge, but I think maybe the results are a bit less <laughs> cool than. than... The well intended people at Nintendo fought? Can I wall jump into that or am I gonna have to take the other way? Probably have to take the other way, but yeah, because of the, uh, the pushback on the wall jump is too far. Yikes. That's a very it's a very tight window. Alright, I'll just do it this way. Are those still donuts or more like pool toys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this, in this, they're not as obviously donuts as they are in the. They, they, they... look like those those you know, pool toys you give to kids, like these big rings, so they float around in the pool and don't drown. Oh, what? Where's the key? <laughs> don't tell me that. Oh, I bet that Magic Koopa has it. AKA Kamek, depending on what territory you're in. Oh. Is it Kamek only in the US or in Europe as well? I'm not sure. Uh, I would need to check the, the level editor. It actually changes in the level editor. Oh. So if you put down a, a, a Magic Koopa. Where's how Mario is missing, Nick? <laughs> that is not the game Luigi deserves. I was going to say. I own, a, I own a cartridge of that. Just give me a second, I'll be back in a minute. When, when were those? When did these come out? What? Oh, alright. Uh, no problem, thanks. Alright, I'm gonna have to risk that. He must have the key. Honestly, honestly, Mario's missing maker would mean you could make your own educational video game. Of course. And so you could finally educate kids on the subjects that really matter, like... Um, uh, who stole the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah, or... Except it's how like... How many pop pies? How many pies uh, did Lex Luthor steal? <laughs> now travel all around the world and yep. pick up clues to help Batman figure it out. Oh god. I really need uh, another mushroom to sacrifice on the Kamek here. Or maybe like just a really obscure subject that is legitimate, but just super obscure. Like, oh hey, here is everything you could know about the 
manufacturing of bass saxophones in uh, Connecticut or something. Yeah. Lithuania, yeah. Just just Lithuania. Here. So then your kid will come out being a giant expert on manufacturing of bass saxophones in Lithuania, but nobody will care because it will still be a bad video game. But a Luigi's Mansion Maker, now that would be something. Make your own courses for Luigi to fight ghosts and... I don't think I can get that mushroom anymore. Uh, yeah, I was a big fan of uh, Luigi's Mansion. Short game, but... Cute. I haven't played the sequel yet. Sequel we're, we're seems okay, but I don't think it's got the same charm as the original, from what I can tell. I, I've heard good things about it. Yeah, it's like it's a solid game, but it's kind of hard to exactly recapture what Luigi's Mansion was. I'll have to try it see for myself, but yep. you know, I eat up everything Luigi, so yep. I'll, I'll have to try it when the money permits. Were you also a Luigi player in Lost Lost World? Uh, Lost World. Lost Levels? Yes. What was the tech demo? demo? Uh, Mario's Missing? Maybe or the first Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion? Mansion? <laughs> it kind of was a GameCube tech demo, so... Wasn't, was... it, wasn't it a launch title? Actually? It was a launch title as well, yeah. Oh, I remembered that correctly then. Uh, the launch titles in Japan were uh, Wave Race Blue Storm, Super Monkey Ball, and Luigi's Mansion. Hmm. Uh, I knew this because I had a Japanese GameCube with a US Switch mod, which was discovered by a forum member, an IGN forum member, who worked for Licksang. If anyone remembers Licksang. No? Could you elaborate? Licksang is effectively, was effectively the play Asia of the early 2000s. Uh, mm. And Sony shut them down when they started selling PSPs uh, because people were importing them of a specific serial number so that they could mod them really easily. Um. Okay, so you know, I learned a thing today. I guess we don't need Mario's missing for that after all. Great, I just threw the only P block in the, the lava. Good. <laughs> good, good job, Scott. You, you broke it. You broke it, Scott. Broke everything, Scott. <laughs> I think that is what I have to do, though. No, oh, that makes sense. Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion was obviously <sighs> a launch title, but I don't know. I still really liked it. Especially, you no, know, of course, because it gave Luigi his own spotlight, but also because it was just a bit different. From the usual Mario experience, so that was, that was just kind of quite neat. Mario, Mario, it had a dedicated, Mario! dedicated Mario, Mario button. <laughs> the sequel to Mario's missing. Well, Luigi is fine, but let's learn geography anyway. <laughs> I, I play it. Yep. Uh huh. And if it's and if there's a game called Vario is missing, then it's actually perfectly fine because he probably stole all his money from all of his friends again, mm -hmm. and they just finally decided to just lock him up somewhere, <laughs> throw away the key, and say, "Nope, this is our money. Screw Vario." I love Vario. He's such a douche, but he really is a massive douche. So yeah. I wouldn't blame any of his of his very friends. For coming up with a way to get rid of him at some point. WarioWare is fantastic. I'm a big WarioWare fan. Oh, I love WarioWare. I loved him. I loved the series ever since the first game. Which is why it's sad that there's not a lot of new ones at all. Like, the last one was still the DIY thing, right? Sorry, I just get thrown into a. Uh, you'll see what happened. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm being distracted. No, you weren't. Uh, I was just silent for a second while I was concentrating, but... I think I'm getting there with this. Uh, but yeah, D DIY on the DS? Was three, that the most recent one? I don't remember. 
more why you it was the one where you could put some sort of primitive game logic in yes it was you the thing where you could kind of make your own stuff and and I, I I never had that one, but I saw a bunch of YouTube videos that I enjoyed where people just kind of came up with their own silly games. Since you can kind of also make your own art for them. Yeah. It, it's kind of quite neat. I really like the idea. But... I don't think there's been any more Barrioware since then, and I think that's a shame, because... Imagine Varioware DIY, but in the Mario Maker level of quality and accessibility yes absolutely and you can easily share your own micro games or micro game sets it has some it has some quirks and maybe not everything is where you would expect it but i think that nintendo really nailed the mario maker interface otherwise um it's just the right level of accessible <laughs> blark says you know it's only a matter of time before someone somehow hacks mario maker to make it run doom yeah that's accurate Someone, uh, someone made a full, uh, was it a Game Boy Color or Game Boy Black and White emulator in Minecraft? Uh, you could, you could just, you can only play Tetris right now, but it's still pretty impressive. Nice. Also, I completely forgot about Game and Wario, which is technically a WarioWare game. Oh yes. It's it's kind of described as a spiritual successor to yeah. it. But I've never played that one, so I can't say anything about it, sadly. Right. Boom. Boing. Alright. Is that what we're doing then? Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I could have made that. My pride's getting in the way again. I'm only... we're only in the second level and I'm halfway through my life's allotment. I guess that just kind of comes with the territory. But yeah, I don't know, a, a proper... WarioWare DIY for the Wii U? Yep. Or just generally a WarioWare for the 3DS? Or the Switch? Yeah, come on, like... Switch would be great for that. Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't sit and read the chat while I'm <laughs> while I'm playing. Uh, from what I understand, Wario was invented by frustrating devs working on Mario Land Two, and Wario was the result. Well, he is the villain in that, so Mario Land is a great series. Yep, like lots of fun. If you haven't played them, I, I'd recommend it. Definitely, especially that first one. I mean, they're all pretty good, but th that first one was like came out of nowhere, really. I remember being at a Pizza Hut in Glasgow in 1993, 1994, and there being whatever the equivalent of the game was, which I suspect was an electronics boutique, um, across the road, and there being a giant poster for Super Mario Land 3, Super Mario, uh, Super Wario Land. Mm. So for sorry, the I'm just, sorry if I sound distracted, I'm just reading Mario games. There's quite a few of them. Yeah, but the main two series, obviously, that he's in is WarioWare and Wario Land. Oh, that got cocky. <sighs> I decided to try and take a shell up with me, but it wasn't a good idea. Yeah, give us more Wario. Come on, more Wario. I'm a number one! Wah! <laughs> number one! I think one of the problems that I know I keep saying this, you no, know, you know it's a common grievance of mine, but the company that usually develops WarioWare games is Intelligent Systems. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what they're busy making now? Mm -hmm. All the time. You you know it right. It's it's Fire Emblem. They make a uh, the, the the fan base for that. Well, I say fan base. Probably. Money maker. It's yeah, money. it's a money maker now. Ever since uh, Awakening, uh, it was doing okay before that, but I think Awakening is really the where where it blew up a bit. 
No, I get that. It's just kind of a shame that our beloved things are falling to the wayside mm -hmm. as a result. Yep. No, I'm that with just you. makes me a bit sad. I'm with you. I, I like their other stuff as well. Mm, make some very neat things. I think I could beat that level, but I'm going to have to skip it now. I've wasted too, much, too many lives. Mushroom Heights 40s Easy is the name of this level. They did still make Paper Mario Color Splash, though, so... I mean, I was talking about the same company that made the Paper Mario games, so... Wasn't Melee responsible for introducing Fire Emblem to a Western audience? Uh, for the most part, yeah. It was two years before the... Uh, two? One year before they, they localized Fire Emblem 7. Uh, so that was the first mention of the likes of Roy and Marth and such for most people. Mushrooms! Yeah. They did make Color Splash, and I at least hear better things about Color Splash than about Sticker Star, so... I might actually try that one. Oh, this is interesting. It's a puzzle. Ah, oh, at least at least that's more clever than the trolley stuff you've been playing most yeah. of the time. Okay, I am. So no, I, I like that. I like that. I had to clear a little path for at the bottom as well, which is a good idea. Oh, it's like that thing I played once. Remember, where I kind of liked it, but it, the timing with the bumpers was so difficult, mm -hmm. and I just did skip. I can appreciate a level that beats me fair and square, and not a level that's just ugh, barf. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like this one. I like this one. I got, uh... I ran into a problem. You'll see what happens. What? The shroom vanishes. I guess that's just a risk I take. Well, I broke it. You broke the level? <laughs> <laughs> Do you lose a life when you restart? Yes, but you don't lose a life if you skip when you're not in danger, so... Fire Rush! You just completely broke this level. Yep. That might need a do-over, that level. <laughs> but I like the idea, at least. It's at least nicer. One second. I'll have to mute myself for a second. Okay. This seems vaguely doable so far. I like Blark's comment. What's really interesting is how every level you've played has had a horrible mutant. <laughs> Need to save. Lives down to 34, not looking good. I did better last week, technically. I had a better start this week. Okay, um, Funtra promised not to scream memes. Please don't. And not to swear. Okay. So. Maybe now he's allowed to talk to us. If he, if he behaves, he's... To talk, Scott? You're allowed to talk if you behave, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that worked. Huh. People like pain, apparently. Well, yeah, Blark, you would know. You would know. Uh-huh, yeah, I thought we were on board for this. <laughs> <laughs> also, I've got to admit, it is really satisfying if you do manage to actually beat all of the levels in this. And I've done it before, just 
I'm not having a good luck in the last two runs. You need to get some, some doable levels, I suppose. I need to get some doable levels up front. Okay, that's a good start. Take that, Bowser. Wait, is Blarg on voice chat? No, Blarg is not on voice chat. I want to hear what his voice sounds like. I don't think I've ever heard it. Maybe Blarg is just really secret. Wow, that's a messed up level. Okay. But I think I can do this so far. I actually really want to know what he sounds like now. <laughs> the great Blarg mystery. Yeah, that's uh, he cares more about that right now than about your attempts at actually playing this video. Well, the bottle's in the way, it's your fault. There's a bottle. Guys on the stream, there is a bottle in the way of the screen, and <laughs> Harry will not move it. So I hey, hang on, we're gonna get Blarg on the voice chat, okay? Oh, oh my god, really? Um, we can. Maybe, Lark, I'll, I'll arrange for you to come. Sure, okay. More the merrier. Join the suffering. Just, just please don't talk over everything, Pontrus, since you can't actually hear when we speak. I just want to oh. Hear, like, give me the headphones when he talks. Yes. Just right. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay, I'm watching the stream. <laughs> Sorry, we're making this all chaotic. I told you, be horribly unprofessional. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. This is hard. This is casual Fridays. Casual. You should, but you should tell us when it's not okay. That's <laughs> alright. I will. Don't worry. Um, hang on, Blarick. I'm gonna send you an invite to my cool video game hangout place thing. I guess. And yes, that is Fontra jabbering. <laughs> because he cannot shut his mouth. I'm not jabbering. Yes, you are. Jibber jabber. You know, you are aware. You only uh, now to kind of go get through with this because you're engaged to me. This is nepotism. Anyway. <laughs> Abusing your position of power. <laughs> it's a position of power, clearly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. Yes, so if we're gonna be a casual hangout, then I'll give us more casual. Hangout. All right. I send you an invite for <laughs> casual. Well, what Scott's playing is not casual. He's playing super expert Mario Maker. It's kind of not casual at all. I would describe it as the complete opposite of casual. Mario Maker is called like Kate Kaizo. We literally had a level earlier that was called Kaizo Mario, and guess what? It was bad, and Scott couldn't beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you just weren't trying hard enough. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Do you play as Link yet? There is a mystery yeah, costume. Yeah, there, there are mystery costumes yeah, in this game. It has Link in it. But no, I'd need to be in an 8 bit level. I asked because I play Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> on this bus. I played Hyrule Warriors Legends. Well, I've been playing Pokemon because I can finally do that. And I can pet an I owl. I, save. I can pet an owl. Can you pet an owl in Hyrule Warriors? I thought not. You can have it. There is an owl. But you can't pet it. What is the point of having an owl in your video game if you can't pet it? That's, uh, these are accurate. Ask to see if it wants to explain something over again. <laughs> these are accurate yes, concerns. To accidentally press A so it will repeat the whole freaking explanation. You want me to repeat that? Oh. <sighs> That is the le see, that is the legacy of the Zelda Owls. The legacy of the Owls and the Pokemon is just that they're freaking adorable. See? Clearly, Pokemon is superior. Let's see what this Bob Alm does. They just made any <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo would make a Metroid that wasn't that one thing. Federation Force. Doesn't that does anyone care about that? Is that even out yet? Yes, it is. It came out and everyone didn't notice it. Uh, it came out and nobody paid attention. Okay. 
But just remember, you, you kind of keep talking over Sorry. <laughs> but yes. No, please make conversation. All I'm doing is repeating the same thing over and over again, so... But yes, I have an owl that I can pet. This is perfect. I'm not. I'm, I'm not being sarcastic either. I just just think the Pokemon and me is, is a simple yet genius thing, and it really adds a lot of flavor to. I mean, Pokemon. <clears throat> it's kind of the next step of the Pokemon following you. Yeah. Which exactly. people, which people loved, admit, understandably. No. Shut up. They're talking about cute little critters. They're like little little pets. They're talking about pets. It was slightly less creepy in the release version of Fates, but it was still, you know, not not needed. I, it's it's still I I will still be honest. It was kind of stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that you could pet the truth. And pet like the fire emblem of me. It's like no. I literally just turned on Pokemon by the way, so I can pet my owl. Of course. Yep, it just takes you down there. Why? Why does it take you down there? <sighs> okay, Pokemon Refresh. That's not a very nice name, but I like Pokemon and me more. To me, it's still Pokemon. There's Pichu. You good? Pichu. Go away. <laughs> See, I told you, he makes everything inherently worse. He makes everything worse. By the way, if you want a kitten, says, uh, or a litten, sorry, I should say, uh, Infetsu yeah, has one. Litten is a kitten, so. Yep. I see, yeah, so yes, I would appreciate that. We need to exchange French, French code. French code? French codes! <laughs> French codes! <laughs> yeah, I, was thinking I think Verity would be, uh, ready up member Verity, who lives in southern France. She'd be interested in this, this French codes system. Yeah, this level started out okay, but then you see like the badly put together pipes and stuff. I almost had it there. I was thinking of a previous generation of Pokemon, my defense, which is clearly set in Pokemon France, so... That's true. So, so this, I'll just pretend... Pokemon it Paris. Was not, it was not a misspoke, and it was literally just... Just me. Uh, eight seconds, running, running, fell. <laughs> okay, I'm getting Blark in to say hello with us. Okay. Hello, Blark. Hello. Oh, you do have a voice. Yes, I do. Did I not hear you on, like, like one of the King's Quest streams or something? <laughs> I don't think that was, that, that was rude. That was rude. That was rude, okay. No, no, that was rude with user, not... Nobody was being <laughs> And, uh... Oh, you have... You summoned somebody. I summoned Verity with the, all this talk of France, because she lives in France. <laughs> I apologize, Ve Vegety? Yeah, that's her username, but yeah, her real name's Verity. Um, I apologize. I said, uh, instead of friend codes, I said French codes, and, and now we're talking dumb things about France. Okay. <laughs> so just to let everybody know who just joined the stream like Verity, we have my friend Perry from Germany, her fiance Fontra from Germany, originally America, and Blarg. I don't know where Blarg's from. <laughs> We've got people all I over the world. In the space. <laughs> I in, the, in, in the space between spaces. You kind of like a little bit, Blarg. Kind of mm, like a little bit that, sometimes. Mm, that might be lag. No, it's like, like specifically that the voice gets like distorted or disrupted for just a smidge. Just a smidge. Yeah, it's not that, too awful. That's a that's a term we use a lot here. Smidge. <laughs> just a smidge. No, but see, see, Clark is an esteemed, totally esteemed let's player. So. Uh, of great. A reluctant let's player. <laughs> Do you actually, you know what, you know what, Blark, you actually kind of sound like Steven Universe's dad. Really? I sound like Greg. Yeah, you sound I can, like I can, I can see it, yeah. <laughs> like a younger Greg. Just, just listen. Similar. Changed my last name to Universe. 
Also, I See? wish I had ten million dollars like Rex. <laughs> no, no, you need you need to save the, the, the thing with the pork chops. Okay. Uh, let me look up the lyrics. <laughs> you don't need to sing anything. <laughs> or you could, but no, it's, um, it's, it's I meant more just the line. Ah! The ah! pork chops were perfect. We wouldn't need hot dogs. Sorry, I was doing okay there. Mm, let's see. Let's see how. Yes, he sounds like Greg Universe. If every pork chop were perfect, yeah. we wouldn't have hot dogs. Like... See, yeah. there you go. But you said a bit like too high pitch, but yes. Oh, okay. say, say it again for Pontra, he just wasn't listening. Okay, My hands no, are no. cramping. My hands are cramping. If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. That's pretty wow, good. you really do. <laughs> See, ask ask me if I want my car washed. Yes, I can't. You want your car washed? No, not you, Fontra. <laughs> oh. Lord. Yes. Ask him if he wants his car washed. Do you want your car washed? That's that's, that's pretty good. I can't hear anything right now by the way he's wearing my headphones. Here, I'm giving here, I'm giving <laughs> ah! <laughs> I could have no, made I'm wearing that. my headphones again. But yes, Borg, we have established you definitely do sound like Greg Universe. Well, that's good. That might come in handy one day. Maybe he has also a similar accent. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's where Greg Universe is from too. Maybe he is also from. Oh my god, what's happening? Well, uh... Well, the thing about me is that I used to have the most uh, horrible southern accent, but um, like just exposure to the internet kind of made me lose it, so I guess that's why I talk the way I do now. Like, you know, like a more light version, I guess, of the accent. Yeah, I, people tell me I still kind of have the accent, but it's not as pronounced as it used to be. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's there, I can tell, but it's, it's mild, which it admittedly helps me. I mean, I think my English is alright, but... Uh... With very thick accents, I have a really hard time yeah. understanding them at some point. So, this is better for me as a non native speaker. Oh, uh, this ladybug does not like to be pet on the, on the belly. Okay. How's oh, this level going for you, Spot? Not well. Why you, gotta, why you gotta treat me like that? What? I think it. He's I... saying I still have a southern accent because he's from New England, he can tell. <laughs> Isn't New England like all the way in the north? It's it's in it's like Maine and yeah, it's the very north uh, eastern tip. How's this level going for you, Scott? Oh well. We we talk about everything but what you're doing. I'm sorry. That's all right. All right, I, <clears throat> I can make that jump. I've petted this lady. <laughs> I love all the X's. You can tell which parts of the level are designed to be frustrating. If I was playing these games, I'd try to die in such a way that the X's would make a shape. That way I could, you know, let the creator know how displeased I am with the level. <laughs> Just make sure it's not a rude, too rude shape. I think Nintendo uh -oh. is not about that stuff. So. No, um, I remember... it'd be like... <sighs> Sorry, so you go on. Well, I mean, it would be like a picture of like, you know, you're not being the person Waluigi believes you can be, so it'd be something that would really hurt their soul. <laughs> it just reminds me of, uh... I and did you watch the last Game Stone Quick? The Mario uh, Maker I have not. Um, there's a level in it that contains a very sneaky, very sneaky reference to a kind of rude thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if that level by this point has been discovered by Nintendo, deleted as a result. Basically, it's a level mm. that kind of has the, the, the gimmick of it, it, it repeats itself, but every time it repeats itself, uh, a portion is added to the, the thing. Oh. And um, the background, if, if you zoom out a bit, you know, if you, if you, if you pay attention, you don't focus your eye on Mario, but actually on the environment. <laughs> the pieces in the background start forming 
a reference to a rather um, rude cartoon character that has to do with both a butt and a genital. Hmm. And it's, it's oh my genius. god! Wow. Okay. I think I can do it's that. Pretty genius, and it, it, it's it's legitimately a fun level too. But it, it has a sneaky reference to a not safe for work thing. So I'm I'm wondering. I mean, it was sneaky enough that they could have it on a charity stream. But I'm wondering if Nintendo got wind of it and yeah. deleted and it as a result because they're very very vigilant about naughty content. But I, I generally recommend you watch the. Games on quick Mario Maker blocks because they're incredible. They have these blind races of known Mario speedrunners playing these these sets of levels, and it's 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 a great time. It's a hoot. And the levels are generally cool. Yeah, I find it funny that Nintendo is really puritanical when it comes to you know making safe for work stuff. When Nintendo's history has had them, you know, running everything from toys to uh, once they operated a chain of love hotels, if you know what those are. So they have a CD past, and among other things. Yes. But well, you know, it's, it's, it's all about the money. image. Yeah. The image. Yeah. At least I got a checkpoint. I mean, it's also funny that it's all puritanical, but at the same time. Good job getting to the checkpoint, Scott. Um, at the same time, uh, especially the most recent Pokemon game, has some really messed up Pokedex entries. Like, oh, generally. God, yeah. They've, they've always been kind of a little bit disturbing. Yeah, but like the, the, the Rotom Pokedex is just like, it's obviously a ghost because it's freaking telling you the worst possible things to know about these Pokemon. Yeah. Like, they just eat each other and kill each other, and it's like, okay. I mean,. It's not a Nintendo-produced game, when you think about it specifically. Yeah, it's Game Freak. Game Freak, but... Or the Pokemon Nintendo, Company. Yeah. Pokemon's always kind of been one of those things that you just... You're not really supposed to think too hard about it, and the most recent entries are doing exactly that. They're just taking all this stuff to its logical conclusion. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this! Look at this with the boo! Ugh! Ah, oh, it's so tight. Ugh! Oh, I was... Um, I can do it. I can do it. I'm gonna do it. A boo's an angel. Look at its pretty wings. <laughs> Cute. My wings are so pretty. My wings! <laughs> no! No, Gerbert, go away. My kites! Oh, Mrs. Beecher, I'm st stay away from my anger. I really have to scream that. It's inevitable. But yes. I, I see, this is like, this is again, it looks like a level that could be done, but it's so tight. Timing is so tight. The one thing I do like about this level is it has Gordos in it, and I just like Gordos because they're like in, like, a lot of Nintendo games, and they just show up from time to time as just these indestructible obstacles. Are you like, mean they show the up in Kirby, face? too. Yeah, that's Gordo. Oh, I didn't even know it had a name. <laughs> oh, yep. all of them, all of them have names. I figure, but I guess it was just spiky or something nondescript. Oh, you no. are kidding me! Wait till you see the end of this! Oh my god! How? How are you supposed to do this? Like that. <sighs> this is this is intense to watch. I kind of hate it. No. Oh my god! I did it. All right. Keep going. Oh, you can do it, Scott. <sighs> oh, now you're gonna die at this. Just onslaught of enemies. I actually made it through those. It's that the would be the most frustrating thing. You die to something really stupid. It's the next bit that looks pretty bad. Also, I'm still petting, petting this owl. Oh, it's asleep. How did I do that? I have no idea. Okay. Oh my god, this is... My... This is crazy. I named my, uh, Rotom... I named my, uh... Rowlet, uh, Borb. And also haven't evolved it, so it's always Borb. Borb. Aww. Oh! Ah! Mm. Sorry. Uh, the... The input device I'm using has a 
minor problem uh, that every... I think it's because of the HDMI signal, but every, like, 40 minutes or so I have to reset the audio device. I'll do that now. Uh, search says, was Spiky Balls and Kirby a name Gordos? Oh, nice. So, uh, probably not these, actually. Huh. I, I only recently learned that those... Weird Goombas in Super Mario World that were supposed to be Goombas, but kind of came out looking like apples on feet. I now named Galoombas. I, I didn't know that either. Yeah, they were officially renamed in Super Mario 3D World, I believe, but... Ah, uh, this Rowlet. It's the cutest thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just obs I'm obsessed with this Rowlet, I fully admit it. It's just, it's, it's just literally just a sphere as a bird, but it's the cutest thing. It has a bow tie. How can you argue against the bow tie? That's pretty good. Bow tie is pretty good. But those spiky things do have a face. So I'm actually gonna Google what they're named in Mario. See, those are spiky things without a face, and there are spiky things with a face. That was my own bad. What is the name of the spiky things in Super Mario World? <laughs> Spiny. No. No, Spiny's are the I red know what ones. A is. Yeah. Pokey. No, I also know what a Pokey is. Pokey's are the ones from Super Mario Bros. 2. I also know what the urchins are. No, I actually, I actually don't know. Whew. All right, There's I go a lot of spiky things in Mario. So you probably have to figure it out in Mario Maker, actually. It would probably be the fastest. <sighs> everything in Mario Maker has a name. Five lives left. I just want to beat this level now. Go for it. We believe in you, Scott. I gotta apologize for being distracted, but at least, you know, on topic, we're all talking Nintendo stuff. That's true. I know, I know in uh, Kirby they're called Gordos, and they just look exactly like that enemy, so that's why I'm assuming that those are Gordos, too, because they're also a uh, Nintendo thing. Is, does Kirby and Mario happen in the same, like, world? Universe? Not really, but there's yeah. like weird loose implications between Kirby and the other universes. I mean, Kirby is set on its own like planet, so maybe it's yeah. just on a different planet. Oh come on! I mean, all this way. Space traveler and everything. I mean, all this way. Why? Why you do this game? No, Scott, I, you're about to fail in a very sad way. Oh, it's just, it's just trolling me now. No. Oh. You've done so well, Scott. That wasn't as bad as I th thought. You've done so well, Scott. Don't give up. Um. Wow, okay. I did it. Wow. <laughs> that looked nuts. Alright, we're back up to eight lives. <laughs> Yay! I set the record! Which probably... Oh no, it wasn't first clear. I was going to say, I'm probably the only one who's beaten it, but it's not first clear, it's just the world record. Nice job! There's a good job, Congrats. Yay! Boss rush, end to the power of five. That's never a, a good sign. End to the power of five. Now, Mad Surge says that Samus was in a Kirby game. Yeah, she was. She's as a statue. Yep. She was in also Mario. Super Mario RPG. Yeah, she was in that too. And Link was in that too. Uh, he shows up. Yep. He's in one of the beds. If you talk to him, it makes the little uh, <laughs> secret <laughs> sound <laughs> in the Zelda games. Yep. Samus is all. You can also find Samus in the bed. She says she's resting up from other brain. Yep. I've played for Super, Super Mario RPG, RPG like 
seven times. So it's, it's pretty it's brilliant. It's a great game. It's so good. It's very, very I, good. I really love it. I think I, I found like pretty much all the secrets by myself just by sheer persistence. Like the only thing I could never you... find on my own was that freaking casino. Oh yeah. That's, oh yeah, because the... pretty insane. Like there's no way you figure that out on your own because yeah. it's just so obtuse what you have to do. It's not like it's super important content, but as a kid I just kept wondering like how the heck are you supposed to get to that casino? How is this supposed to work? It was driving me nuts. Like they're clearly talking about something that is findable. What's going on? Yeah. Of course, you know, there's one. Super Mario. Art. I got like when I was a kid, I got oh. stuck on a. Uh, what what what's the name of that monster that eats everything? The the cat looking thing. You mean Beelu? Uh, yeah. I think so the yeah, one I that think like that's right. in the sewers. Yeah, in the sewers. Yeah. Beelu. Yeah. It's sort I of can a never pirate the second time you fight him. In the pirate ship later on? So, I, th I think you make fun but... again, but yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I can you never be in the second time. Uh, no. So, you go ahead, you go ahead. Sorry, it's... I'm bad at talking. <laughs> well, um, I, I got stuck as a kid and I couldn't beat him, so I like got to the point where I was like just going back to uh, the meteor hill and I think I was like severely over level because you know as a kid your patience for grinding for some reason is just really really high so then i was able to beat him at like level 30 which i think is like 10 more levels than you're supposed to be at 30 is the maximum level in the game i think yeah i know i think it, it was 30. yep I, I had that situations like that too, where certain enemies were just fun to fight, so I fought them for much longer than I was supposed to. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's kind of a testament that it's just, I don't know, it's, it just manages to marry the, the ideas of Mario and the ideas of a typical JRPG in a really nice way. Yep. I almost got it that time. I assume this is just like one of the five bosses. Well, it says boss rush number five, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what that was trying to say, whether it's saying number five or end to the power of five or. <laughs> I just always like how the fire flowers are just really happy. Like, you know, they're just like, burn them in cleansing fire in a really cheerful voice. <laughs> You know. Wow, okay, is that how you interpret that? <laughs> because they look really happy and that's all they can do is just burn and, you know, they just seem way too happy for what they're about to let Mario do. <laughs> well, why, why else would they be happy? Mad Search happy. points out that uh, Samus was also in Kirby's Dream Land 3, which is, uh, and a lot of people yeah, haven't played you... 3. Yeah, you like... In every level, you have to help somebody, and Samus... I forgot what you had to do to help her, but... Yeah, she's one of the people you helped. And then there were three. You want to beat this one, Scott? Uh, well, yeah, I want to beat it. Even if I... <clears throat> even if I run out of lives, I might just beat it on the play screen. Because you can go to your recent levels and... I love that pit full of axes. It's like there's no extra lava there anymore, it's just X's. And I used the power block. That was dumb. Were you not supposed to? I need I need to stack them at the bottom of the level to make it a pathway to that door. Oh. You're more clever than me, I didn't catch on to that. All right. Dang, like, Mario Maker is a great argument to buy a Wii U. Is, well, I do hope they're gonna make a neat Switch version. Oh the yeah, Wii. it absolutely deserves a proper sequel. Uh, they almost got it perfect the first time, but they needed to add, like, you know, Super Mario Bros. 2 tile set. And more music control and a couple other things, but for the most part they did a really good job first time. 
And again, it doesn't even need to be a sequel, just make it like a bigger version of yeah. this. Yeah, like Super Mario Maker XL or something. For Switch, that'd be perfect. I mean, this is hugely popular. They'd be leaving a lot of money on the floor if they didn't mm -hmm. do that. I, I do not, at this point, own a Wii U, so I'm missing out on Mario Maker, and after playing it at your place, I generally kind of am sad about that. Yep. It's a good game. We could, Especially uh... not cynical cash grab people were worried about when... Oh, no, no. They were yeah. getting into, you know, Nintendo were getting into the ROM hack. Yeah, people were worried, it's, oh, it's Nintendo shutting down the ROM hacks, but it's not, it's kind of its own thing. It also, its rules are also te technically slightly different than the respective games that are featured in it. Uh, mm -hmm. The physics are very, very close to each of the original games, but they're not actually exactly the same. So for the purpose of people who edit ROMs, that, that is still viable. All right. I just want to get through this door once. Got why... I never got why Bowser had a clown car, like why that's what he chose for his personal vehicle. It just doesn't seem like something he'd be into. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it fits his color scheme. Look, the clown, the, the clown helicopter has a clown copter has you know yeah. the same colors as him. It's it's white and and green and orange. Huh. And maybe that's the problem. And you're a giant. Then you're a giant fire spitting tortoise. Mm -hmm. What is your vehicle of choice? Uh -huh. Like which things even work for you at that point? Ah, duh, Yoshi, no. <laughs> like he has spikes, so he would probably uh, ruin car seats. And uh, game over. He spits fire, so so things that that like get ruined easily are bad. So I don't know. Maybe the clown copter is actually very fitting for his body. All right, let's check out the stats for Galumba's Paradise. <laughs> you still at well, Scott, on that challenge. I seriously wouldn't even gotten from the first levels. Okay, we've got some updated stats for you, Perry. So, so good job, seriously, no. Good job on the challenge, Scott. Thanks, I'll beat it one day on stream, even though I've beaten it a couple times. Uh, clears, 1 of 46. A Japanese player has finally cleared your level. Yes! Someone finally cleared my amazing creation. Your level has a 2.17% complete completion rate. Mm -hmm. Let's let's show it off on the stream. Uh, okay. So my friend my friend Perry made this while she was uh, visiting me in Scotland. So let's uh let's visit the paradise for Golumbus. It's the first level I made, so. Do not expect anything incredible, but I, I I actually got into a playable state. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's a series of challenges. Now I'm curious, because like for instance here, you need to be patient actually. Rushing through the Galoombas will not work. Yep. I, I always really liked the Galoombas because like as a, as a kid, I just thought they were apples on feet. <laughs> I like apples, so I thought that was cute. <laughs> now I know that they were supposed to be Goombas, but now they're not actually, so it's a good idea. But I figured I'd make a level My centered around them. My grandmother, uh, she would call uh, Koopas ducks for some reason. <laughs> ducks! <laughs> Alright, that's, that's she cute. She, she thought they looked like ducks. Alright, yeah, okay. I, I can maybe see that. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, we're talking about the old... NES ones. Though. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they just yeah, sort those of. I can see it. Yeah, they waddle a bit more in those. Yeah. But yes, here, here is the the big pit of Galumbas, and you have to actually toss in the Galumbas that the cannon provides for you. It it wasn't supposed to be a puzzle, but it actually kind of came out to be one, and I guess that's nice. Accidental game design. Emerging game. I just thought it was funny to throw a pit with the leaf. <laughs> Alright. And you see there's a star in that pit, and I thought the star would jump higher than the Galoombas, but it's actually the other way around. So, I thought, oh crap, now you can't get the star and clear the Galoombas, but no, you can if you just pick up Galoombas from other parts of the level. See, Scott's played this before, so he knows the tricks. See, that's all there is to it. When you get through this part, you just fall into the... 
Yeah, see, you did that. You did that like a champ. Good job. All right. Before I end the stream, I'm gonna keep that, keep trying that boss rush level for her, because I was making progress in it. Now I'm curious if you can do it. Unlimited lives. Here we go. It would better than I could. Also, uh, hello everybody in chat. We're still paying attention. Uh, if uh, Nightbot or Readybot, as we call him, has said a couple of times. Um, if you're enjoying the stream, please give us a follow. Uh, we're trying to get to 100. Our most recent follower, number 92, is Perry, who is on the, on the line with me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but if, you, if you want your name to show up under the latest follower plugin that I've got set up, then you need to you need to give us a follow. Maybe something special will happen at 100. Great. It's feel free. You get some some cool people doing cool streams. It's not just Scott. There's a few people. Yeah, playing so different things. Uh, have different. We've got people who play visual pop. novels. We've got people who play uh, the Jackbox Party Pack. Uh, we've got. We sometimes get exclusive Thank indie you. stuff. Uh, oh. I hope they play good visual novels. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you need to Okay. This is clearly your area of expertise now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome to our newest follower, Blarg. What's up? Good job. You, you, you uh, are supporting your, your comrades in arms, I guess. Who are <laughs> braving the tide of, of awful, awful visual novels. Uh, yeah. Have you played Major... I have to ask them. Have you played Major Minor on this stream? We haven't, and I should suggest that to Sue, because that's probably the perfect follow-up to Seduce Me, the Otomi. I, I've played that one. It's actually kind of cute for free, for free visual novel. I mean, it's not great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not it's the like, worst oh, wow. thing ever made. No, absolutely not. It's, yeah, it's someone free. tried. Someone tried. Someone actually had some passion for yeah. it. Yeah. So maybe what cute. maybe what came out of it wasn't the <laughs> most ideal thing, but the, someone tried, and that's respectable. You know, absolutely, like I said it's, it's not a great game, but considering how much cynical crap there is on the, on the visual novel market. Yeah. Uh, uh, the pretty harmless, hey, to, like be seduced by a bishi yeah. thing is actually actually kind of okay. I, I the kinda... art was alright, writing was alright. It's like this is a free thing. I, I appreciated it for what it was. But major minor on the other hand. <laughs> hey guys, do you it's, like it's furries? Do you that. like insane plot contrivances? Uh, yeah. I've seen very little of the the major minor thread, but everything I have seen is solid should, gold. It's, it's, a, it's a treat. You should read the whole thing. It's an awful treat, but it's at the same time kind of incredible. I, I recommend it when you have some time to kill to read something. We descend into madness, and I don't think he ever left. Ah! No. Oh. Nobody leaves major minor. Yeah. But I'd recommend it to Sue. That she plays the. But that's the thing! Major Minor was supposed to have dating in it. I'll spoil you right now. It promises. The, the, the store page will promise dating, and there is no dating. Right, that's a good start. There is none, so you can tell her, hey, it's, <laughs> it's, it's only a dating sim too. But it, no, actually not. <laughs> nice. It, it also promises a, a texting and contact feature for the NPCs that you meet, except no. That never happens. You, <laughs> you... Not sure, Miss. That never happens. You uh, add, you always, the game makes a big deal out of, oh, you added this person's contact information. You never do anything with that ever. So there's another nope. promise feature from the store page, not in the game. And well, it promises, hey, it's a really, this has this many words in it. And I'm sure that's actually true, but those are not good words. Those yeah. Are incredibly bad words. Oh. They're really bad words. I say that again as a non native speaker who I think is just kind of like an average writer at best, and I think I could write something better in my sleep. Oh no, God, Perry, you're not average compared to some of these people, God. No, I mean, on, on general, I don't think my writing is the kind of thing where people would say, wow, this writing is amazing, but it's also not. Well, your grammar's pretty good. 
Yes, but I mean writing, writing. Yeah. I'm sh Major Minor doesn't have Major. that many grammar problems, but the prose is terrible. Major Minor seriously reads like, because as far as I know, the writer Clay's, he's Canadian. And that's another thing Canada has inflicted on us, like, besides Johnny Test. Anyway, he's a, he's a native English speaker. I will not have any of... Johnny Test on the Ready Up stream. <laughs> no! Sorry. <laughs> it's a video game, and it's actually kind of okay. It's an average platformer. Oh. The Totally Spies video games, on the other hand. Now, those are bad. Uh... <laughs> I played them. But bad. Sorry, you were saying. Yes. Anyway... Uh, it reads like somebody who uh, does is not a native English speaker, and it almost kind of reads like a poorly translated anime. Like it's just kind of this weird wooden dialogue that nobody would ever actually say. And from what I understand, when Japanese is translated literally, that can it kind of comes out like that. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It just sounds weird and wooden. But Clay's is a native English speaker, so he doesn't have that excuse. So I don't know what's going on. Well, the, the the game is set in Japan and has some enemy references to it, and is obviously heavily inspired by which I mean really heavily inspired by some popular Japanese franchises. So it might literally just be a case of I have to do it the way I've seen in my anime, in my fan song. Yeah. Yes, and that's that's an issue for a writer when your own like a writer is obviously very strongly shaped by the things they consume. Yes, of course. And, and they're inspired by it, the things that shape their language. So, if all all things that you generally read are, are subs on a, like, fan subs on a recently released anime, it's it, it will shape your language after a while, and that's what it reads like. I yeah. agree on that assessment. It, it reads like someone trying not to sound like a native speaker, which is strange. Very strange. And obviously no editing or you know, outside feedback of any any kind, just kind of, I put it down on paper like this, it's sound, it sounds great to me, I'm gonna release it. Uh, also, thank now, you to- he's gone on record as saying, uh, now he's gone on record to say that, uh, every, like, it's its first draft, like, he said that, and he doesn't seem to recognize that's a bad thing. Yeah, I guess it's anyway. a good idea. I am the artist, I put Artists, yes. I put it down as I envision it, and mm -hmm. you know that there's something to be said for spontaneous. Well, stuff. Uh, let's invoke Finding Forrester at the very least. Uh, mm -hmm. Finding Forrester being the movie that You're the Man Now Dog comes from. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Finding Forrester is about Sean Connery playing a reclusive Scottish writer who has a fear of going outside, uh, and he hangs out with this sort of kids and teaches them to write. Anyway, uh, you write your first draft with your heart and you write your second half, uh, second draft with your brain. Uh, and I don't think they ever wrote a second draft for... <laughs> you making progress with the boss? Sort of. Yes, I, I recommend. Please let us know when Sue does decide to look at Major Minor. There's nothing uncouth in it. It's, it's safe for work. Not safe for mind, necessarily. Because, you know, it, it mentions violence and uh, sex, but not in the, the sense like, oh, it's furry, so it's full of sex. No, it's not. Yeah. It just has uh, characters that dress really uh, questionably sometimes. And all the female characters are obviously made up for the game because they didn't get any backers on the Kickstarter or whatever they had who actually had female personas. Yeah. So some of them are either gender swap designs or just made up entirely, which means a lot of them are just kind of weirdly boop-tastic, but that's as bad as it gets in terms of, you know, co stream content. So it is, it's streamable. I, I'm not certain you should because it's awful, but you could. It's an option. And if it's just and if it's just, let's see how long Sue can go until she gives up. Does Sue like Persona? Uh, I don't know if Susan has uh, played Persona. Uh, I don't Ooh. think she has. Might, that might be a good thing to play. Oh yeah, absolutely. Can... Like, uh, we, over at Ready Up, we had a bit of a love affair with, uh, 
with the Persona franchise following it's... 4, because 4 is awesome. Well, then you should definitely play Major Minor, because it borrows so heavily from Persona, it, it's it's pretty shameless. It, it's incredibly shameless. Was previously coming out on Valentine's Day, Persona 5? <laughs> Got delayed again. Mm, if it comes off, I'll be better. Oh, of course, I'm I'm with you in that in general. Uh, uh, but <laughs> I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Yeah, but yes, definitely. Major minor. It's a it's a hoot. <laughs> oh, there's another new follower. Oh, Mad Search. Welcome. I wonder who that person is. Hmm. <laughs> Getting all these random Twitch people. Uh, hey, I, I I roped in. No, I, hey, I'm 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 grateful. If we can get us, three more followers for you. Yeah, if we can get us up to hundred, that's a respectable start. We're obviously not trying to be Twitch MLG pro, but it's nice to have a small base of, uh, of subscribers to make sure someone is probably gonna watch. I don't use Twitch a ton, but I would gladly come by because the thing is with Twitch for me is that, especially on bigger streams, mm -hmm. uh, the chat is completely unusable. Oh yeah, absolutely. It just goes nuts, yeah. Not just as it's a lot of content, it's just, just the people. Mm -hmm. kind yeah. of like, like Don't like people get rude or loud or annoying. Well, I'm just enjoying hanging out with video game content creators. So I don't know. There's something to there's something to be said for the more intimate stream, yes. Yeah, it doesn't even just need to be intimate, just just kind of more like you know there's gonna be oversight that yeah. people will not be butts. Yeah. I don't need everywhere to be like a YouTube comment section. But as you get more and more people into especially a game related thing, the probability that people will act like in a YouTube comment section reaches very, very much hundred percent. All right. That's why I like this. You know, you, you guys are chill. Everyone yeah, we're chill. pretty chill. Yeah. I just, like that. It's just like the pasture. Pasture's probably a little busier, but uh, around the same. Uh, Speaking of, of terrible furry entertainment. Because oh, next yes. Do you want a promo Tuesday? <laughs> yes. The and nightmare begins the... again. No, it, it begins properly because the first, the first, the first elf on the mega movie is pretty bad. Yep. It has a, like 18% of Rotten Tomatoes if you care for the general aggregate of critics, but I think it's 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 one of those things that it's not good kids entertainment, but if you showed it to a kid, at very least you wouldn't feel like you showed it something offensive. Right, like something yeah. Something that is actively harmful, you just kind of showed him something bad and you think, why didn't I show them and I like, a, if anything, at very least showed a battle or something. Yeah, yeah. If, if you need your canine entertainment. But yeah, but uh, Balto isn't perfect, but it's it's got something. It's you know. It's all right. Yeah, exactly. It's it's, it's a quality well, co compared to the other compared to the other things. It's a quality product. Alpha and Omega One is just kind of not great, yeah. but I guess you could show it to someone. It's not the worst thing. It's just aggressively generic. But the sequels are ah. since they intended to make this a franchise. The thing what happened with Alpha and Omega is that they just, after the, the first one wasn't particularly successful, but it wasn't a bomb, but it wasn't very well received, and it wasn't obviously not what they wanted. They decided, hey, we'll just slash the budgets and make it a franchise anyway. So they pump out these horrible direct-to-DVD and the direct-to-stream services sequels. They're just generally really awful. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of unfinished animation, some PlayStation 1 left grade of effect. There's a famous Part that people have made fun of a lot, especially on Tumblr, where the skybox glitches out. Like, it literally just glitches out. Nobody caught that before. <laughs> they just didn't care. Yeah, or there's, there's bits that look like they didn't finish rendering properly, and again, nobody looked at them right. Like, the textures aren't really quite there. Yep. It, it looks, again, like a PlayStation 1 game. Like, like, like Croc looks better than that. It's, yeah. it's that kind of thing. Croc's got the moves. Sorry. I played Croc 1 a lot as a kid. I'll uh -huh. say. Two was great. I never played Croc Two. So Croc, Croc Two is interesting because it's a bit more open world. Like no. Croc, Croc One is more just like here's a bunch of levels, but Croc Two is you know actually more of a game, uh, a Mario type uh, hub world game. 
Croc also had some really kicking theme music. It had that uh, kind of ska, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. The uh, theme song goes like da da. The music was pretty cute. Right. It was pretty cute. I like that. Also, yeah. I'll, I'll also Alpha and Omega One was great because it had a uh, son of Mega Weapons, so <laughs> I had that going for it. Well, <laughs> to explain that in case anyone's listening, he doesn't understand. Um, we're all we're all big fans of Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand, mm -hmm. and the most important character to ever come out of that, of course, is not only Rouse Dower, but also a Mega Weapon. Which is an actual giant tank thing in the movie that was just... I forgot what the movie was called, I keep forgetting the names of the movie. Clark, do you remember which, which MST3K that was? I mean, I can look it up real quick. Please do, I, I keep forgetting the name. But it, it, it the villain has a thing that's just this giant tank. This horrible B movie, and it's called Mega Weapon, and it's just it's just glorious. Like you, you gotta love Mega Weapon. I think so. Blade. It was Warrior of the Lost World. Yes, that one. Right. I I, I, I have the imagery in front of me, but I have no idea how to put the name because I'm bad. But there is a scene in, in Alpha and Omega One where the, the insufferable characters are chased by bears, and one of them is like a big black bear. And we just kind of said, I, I, okay, that's now that's the son of Mega Weapon, because in, in the same way as the Mega Weapon in the in Warrior of the Lost Worlds, where the, the really annoying bad main character is is fought by this awesome cheesy weapon, the insufferable characters in Alpha and Omega are chased by this giant weird bear. So it's like, yeah. That's, All right, that's I know what to do now. It took a while, but I figured it out. I need to make the bomb blow up the fish so that they can't set off more bombs. Then I have to get, let the bomb get to the bottom and hit the P switch to open up the passage to the rest of the level. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I just I, I just have to laugh because uh, it's it's the kind of thing that that just is really funny out of context. I need to, okay, I need to get the, <laughs> need to use this fire to burn this fish. Uh-huh, yep, to burn the fish. Bombs. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> but this is ridiculous. You can't die once. There's no checkpoint. I'm hoping that it looks like there was something flashing next to the, uh, the blocks I'm just about to clear, or hopefully clear with the P-switch. So I'm hoping that's a checkpoint flag. I guess we'll find out when I get there. You go, Scott. You can do it. But yes, but the sequels of Alpha and Omega will bring some more wonderful. Are you doing? Are you doing all points. six? Yeah, I'm showing one movie every oh, Tuesday. Oh, I feel ill. <laughs> I started in December because the second one is a holiday film. Oh, of course, right? Okay. It's a holiday adventure. <laughs> Well, the first move was advertised as a possum adventure, so what do you think? Uh, it just goes downhill from there. Jawsome! Jawsome was a... Jawsome is like this most 90s thing possible. If you needed a word, it described the 90s, and yep. it wasn't like tubular or something. It's Jawsome. Thanks, Street Sharks. Street Sharks! Street Sharks! I was more... They fight! They fight! Extreme, extreme, extreme dinosaurs! <laughs> that was pretty good as well. It, it, I have to admit, the theme song is generally pretty great and easily the best part of the whole show. It's, it's just kind of a really cheap 90s toy commercial show. But the, the theme song is pretty rocking. Hmm. You can actually listen to it and not like be ashamed. I don't think I can kill that bomb fast enough. But why would they give you this fire if they didn't want you to set the bomb on fire prematurely? Hmm. hmm. Oh, come on, Yoshi. I have to feel sorry for that caterpillar. It's just minding its own business, and then somebody like staples three ghosts and a chain chomp. <laughs> All right, what time is it? It's 3.54. Okay, it's almost 10 p.m. 
GMT. I'm going to give this a couple more honest goes, and then I'll come back to it next time. I'm not going to forget about this level. And um, we'll try this level plus and another we'll Super Expert run. Forget about the boss rush. Yes, we can't forget about the boss rush. And I'll try this level and another Super Expert run. But we'll give this a couple more goes. Um, I can I, I can say this because it doesn't specify anything about it. Uh, but I ordered some stuff for my secret uh, gift giving adventure uh, this year. Oh, is that like a stream thing you'll do? No, no, no. The, the thing that we're involved in. Secret gift giving adventure. That's my, oh. my budget title for it. Uh, <laughs> That's your Steam Greenlight project right there. Yes, yes. No, no, the, uh... I was assigned the person by you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We can't see who, but... Uh... I'll just make weird noises because I don't know anything. She's lying. She knows all of it. No! I, I don't be proud because the thing is the great thing is I, I'm good at keeping secrets because not only am I good at keeping quiet about secrets but also some, if it's something more casual I'll just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me oh I am doing this thing but you can't tell anybody and I'm like okay oh, I forgot. Uh, Mad Surge says all these levels look so aggravating to play. Well you're not wrong but also for the really ridiculous ones like this and most of the super expert ones. It feels amazing when you beat it, because you're just like, HA! But I'm also a bit of a masochist, so I grew up with NES games, and... I, like, Scott they... has the patience of a saint in general, so I'm not surprised he's That's... the one who does this. This is, this is my jam. Alright, we're on to part two again, at least. Oh well, assuming I get this. Oh no! I might not get this. No, I got it. Alright. Part 2. Find out what I did wrong last time. Hmm, actually, I wonder if I can take a power block with me. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I have to take the power block with me. Oh, I can take the power block with me. Oh dear. This isn't good. Ah, but I can't take it through this part. Unless... Okay, may have broken the rest of the level, but never mind. So I need to check something here. Is the Babom Is the Babom on fire or not the Babom, the fish that set the Babom on fire, are they on fire by default or was I did or did I do that? No, they're on fire by default. So this is more of a puzzle plus. Yes. Hmm. Why would they give you that fire? Or was it just to annoy you? That's a possibility that should never be discounted. I tried eating the fishes, thanks, Mad Surge. I can never get close well, enough. Well, uh, looks like the lava sets them on fire, so I don't know, maybe there's a way to eat them before they get set on fire, or maybe not. The lava? Yeah, the lava right below them. They kind of dip into the lava, and that's what sets them on fire. Oh. I think. Um, oh, I thought they were just on fire looking immediately. Looking at it. Or maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'd have to see it again to Yeah, I, sure. I think I think they were just on fire from the beginning, but maybe not. Uh, try eating the fish. I'll try eating them again, but I have tried eating them before and I'm pretty sure I couldn't. If that's the case, then that's the solution, because that would let me um, let the bomb walk all the way to the bottom, and then I could get him to stand on the the, P, the P switch as required. Oh, ready bot's back. Are you still there, Perry? Yes, I'm listening. Okay. Trying not to be so unprofessional that I'm not helping you actually finish this. <laughs> No, it's fine. It's good to it's always good to have people on. The one of our ready up people was gonna keep me company tonight, but she had to leave at seven. So um, I'm glad you joined me, because otherwise I was just gonna do the soul for an hour and a half. <laughs> um, Alright, let's say three more attempts. And then I'll call it for tonight. It's been a long you day. You fought valiantly and bravely. Yeah, you made a good effort of it. <laughs> I would have given up hours ago, so... <laughs> hours ago! <laughs> so your... I'm fairly... ...fortitude is admired. I'm, I'm fairly persistent, yes, but... It doesn't mean much if I don't get anywhere. Um... Ah, still, you at least actually given an attempt. I, I was perfectly content playing on normal. Oh! But I do like the... I do like platforming, like I said, the issue is Robin it, I just, just, I'm, I think I'm quicker annoyed at my level, it's like, a lot of the monsters you were playing that are just trolly and yep. dumb, I have less patience. I'm like, nah, I don't want to put up with this, I'll go. I do generally have a reasonable amount of patience. I told you, you have a patience of a saint. Go away, clown car. Go away. Alright, one life remaining. I would like to get to the second part again to test the fish theory, though. Can you check the completion rate for this level? I will, yeah. I'm sure someone's made it. Because <laughs> I'm feeling it's gonna be quite small. No. 95%. The easiest super expert level. I'm just terrible. Um. No, it's, it's probably just gonna be ridiculously low. I can't even hear the music since I'm new to the actual stream. So oh, that's true, yeah. It's a shame because I appreciate the Super Mario World music. Ah, no! Oh. But to be fair, I've played these games enough to know roughly what it's supposed to sound like. So we just have to use our imagination. That was technically my last life. Technically? Technically, but I really just want to get to the second section again to test the fish theory. Test the fish theory? Yeah, which I'm pretty sure I, I tried eating the fishes before, but I would, you know, I'd like to see if they go on fire and immediately and all that stuff as well, so. We, we need to do it for science. That was mean. Just get hit by a random fire at the top.
No! I want to test the fish theory! Fish theory! Fish theory! Fish theory! It's for science! Hey, at least this level's making you think. At least it's not just, hey, here's some garbage. You have to jump through. That's true, that's true. At least there's actually something to figure out. Hey boss, the gar this room has some garbage for us to jump through. You were doing your dinky voice. You should do a uh, dinky plays Super Mario Maker stream. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess, I, I, I guess that's nice that you think my voice acting abilities are fun enough to actually carry a story. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'll, I'll take that as a that's point. how I hear Dinky now. I know we heard Dinky for real for a second towards the end of that uh, story, but... I, I just kind of try to make it sound similar enough, I guess. But yes, I guess voice acting. Well, then you can do a Gerbert stream. Oh god. <laughs> Let's see how long you can make my life. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, morbid jealousy has a level for us. Yo, sup, player? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Like, follow, subscribe. MLG Pro. You you gonna you gonna try that one before you you go? I may as well at this point. As long as it's nothing uncouth. If it's uncouth, I'll just cut it out of the archive. <laughs> before Twitch catches me. <laughs> right, those fishes. Dead come in from the left, he's right. Damn it. Have I got to eat those immediately? Ugh. There's another level. People are just throwing levels at you. Blarg, you were right. They, they sensed you were stuck on this. Oh god, why are we popular all of a sudden? <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you give this a follow, I'll try your level. How about that? Oh, striking a bargain. Here. I'm striking a bargain here. We're trying to get to 100, Harder. as you can see, by our follower goal. I don't think I can do this anymore, though. Morbid Jealousy asks if you like Metroid. I love Metroid. I think Super Metroid is arguably the second best game of all time. Like, it's maybe... In the best? Other M the first? No! Oh my god, Clark, no! Oh. Bad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, that never that game never happened. Good. It did not happen. I don't, other M, what's that? Exactly. Alright. But yes, give Scott a follow. He give give me a follow it. and I'll try your level out. We've got uh a remake block for block of a Metroid level. It took him 60 hours. Oh, there we go. Morbid Jealousy has given us a follow. So I have to play their level now. Thank you. Uh, Morbid Jealousy says Ocarina Thanks. of Time is number one. Uh, they are correct. There we go. I uh, can't say. You know, everyone has different tastes. Yes, no. Any let's, let's say it's in the five Zeldas that are an acceptable answer. <laughs> but no, it is a very good game. That, Wind Waker... Some people are going to prefer Majora's Mask. Some people are going to prefer Link to the Past. Those people have a good case. Ocarina uh, of Time is a very good game. I, I will not argue with that at all. Okay. I just I, like Majora's Mask more. Majora's Mask is, is, is awesome. It's strange. In a way that I think is, a, is nice. All right. We're going we're gonna to check out a level. Bioshock Infinite number three. Hmm. I don't know if I'd go with that, but that's 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 an interesting one, certainly. I, I couldn't get into the gunplay of Bioshock Infinite. This wasn't quite my my taste. Alright. My favorite FPS is probably the one I played most recently, which is um, Wolfenstein The New Order, because that's a really solid shooter. Oh, it's so good. I really need to play it. I played it. It's a... cinematic in a way that is actually good. I've been... It feels 
like you play a movie, but not in a bad way, in a good way. I did play up to like the fifth level of the of the Doom reboot slash follow on slash whatever it is. Uh... Super Mario Maker is very nice because it, it, it has a very unique fun to it. All right, Galaxy Federal Police M510 by Quinn. It has a 2.63% co completion rate, and I can see already that that is the that is the start of uh, I guess I don't know what it's called in Metroid One. Is it still called? Uh, I was gonna say Corneria. That's Star Fox. Um, Shouldn't this be the Morph Ball? Can I not get the Morph Ball? Mad Surge says, I was a PlayStation kid. Boo! No, I, I'm joking. The, play, the PS1 and PS2 especially have some incredible libraries. Uh... Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to get take damage from the spiny, which makes me small again. Ah. <laughs> Which is their way of doing the morph ball. Okay, that's cute. And these are gonna fall. I'll take this with me. Uh, that's cute, Morbid Jockey. Ah, not go up there, okay. Oh, I see, okay. So, need to come back. Not take that, because it needs to be P-blocked. Oh no, I can't take it anymore, alright. I'm liking all the fireworks, Morbid Jockey. This is... This is fairly accurate to what I remember of Metroid 1. Like, the initial area. I will leave a comment on your stage when I beat it. Which I hopefully will do. I like this, yeah. It's quite... Yeah. It's quite Metroid. Is that supposed to be Ridley? In a sort of cute way, because that's that's pretty cute. Ah, I get it. Yes, it's Ridley. Do you require hints? Not yet. Not yet. Let me have a let me have a bit more of a look around. Okay, so I'm gonna need something to get up here. Presumably a power up because this is Metroid game, so let's backtracking is built into the design. It's up here again. Oh, we need the fire flower, that's why there was a fire flower above the door. Okay. Makes sense. I guess that's the equivalent of having missiles. That's the mushroom room. Or I need the mushroom probably. Yep, need mushroom. Okay. All right, so it is laid. It, it, like, it does make sense, and the power ups are roughly equivalent to certain Metroid power ups. And it's a neat idea putting the the power ups above the, each door. Yeah, I need a fire flower and a key. <clears throat> All right, I think I need to backtrack a little and. Ah, oh, I can't backtrack here. All right. That's cool. Oops. I died. That was my bad. I just made... I just misjumped. Can I... Can I break this by... Oh, no, I can't. There's not enough momentum to do the crouch move. <laughs> Is 
there something in here missing, maybe? Hmm. Ah! Right. Nice. Ah! Oh, Karibo Shoe! Hell yeah! Sorry. Yes! I love Karibo Shoe. I love the shoe. You get drunk on power riding in Karibo Shoe. Yeah. That thing is strong, that's true. It's also just really adorable, so it's the best combination. It's strong and adorable. What I want is Karibo's shoes supposed to be the various suit or? Uh, yeah, I guess that is a way of looking at it. Yeah. You gotta admit that's the way to play Metroid in your shoe. Oh, I could have taken that. Oh, to the fire floor doors. Ah. Oh. Karibo just means Goomba. Yes, you're correct. Actually, Karibo means chestnut. Uh, or well, Goomba means oh, whatever. <laughs> I, I I get what you mean. Hey, I found the mushroom. Okay, we're making progress. And another star, I'll take it. Oh, but what's in there that could be a power up? Oh, it's just a light. So they're kind of like energy, I suppose. All right, let's get back. Was there anything in there? Nope. Can I hurt him yet? No, I can only hurt him with the shoe. So I need to come back here with the shoe. But I can get through here now. Ridley. Oh god! Oh god! It's Captain N Ridley! <laughs> Wait, Ridley wasn't Captain N. I don't know, I'm guessing that was what that was an attempt at. It sounded more like. like uh, or is it the Mega Man? I'm uh, Mega Man! Mega, hello! Oh my god! Ah, uh, my Chris, kite! Um, Captain N is the worst. Oh my god, but it's it's such a still 90s that it's- I, I love it for that. It's horrible, but I love it for that. Uh, it's- I was trying to make an attempt at a slow beast impersonation of Ridley, which is kind of this fast-talking, you know, ah! so, yeah. Oh! Ah! <clears throat> my bad. I pitch screechy voice! Yeah, he talks in a screechy, joysy accent. It's great. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. It's, it's, I think, it's, I think Slobby can generally have some fun impressions, but that's easily his best. Like a high-pitched Meowth? Yeah, actually, Meowth is pretty, pretty good comparison. Yeah, Mega, the Mega, Captain and Mega Man sounds worse even than the... Super Mario Bros. Cartoon Toad. Maybe they even voiced by the same guy. Nothing against the guy, it's more just... <laughs> Jesus. Not really fitting for like a tiny cutesy character like me. Like <laughs> <like this. laughs> <laughs> God. Ah! Damn it. What's the fire Awful. Fire? It's not the kind of voice you expect to come out of like a friendly sidekick. Damn it, I've screwed this all up. No. This was a very dangerous area. <laughs> we believe in you, Scott. I like this level. Do it. It's a very cool level, though. Are there any checkpoints? Or is dying 
Really bad. I guess it's like a game over in Metroid. Mm, that's accurate then. <laughs> There's nothing down here. Alright. the power. Super power. But Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Oh, oh, alright. I guess I retract my previous comment. I, I'm even, like, I'm not even like Sega Kid. It's just, I just think the slogan is hilarious. Just being outright like, Ugh, Duncan on the competition. Ah! Yay! That drops fire flowers! You can do it, you can do it! I don't have the key, but I've cleared the way. Okay. Alright, okay. Progress of sorts. I'll go back to the previous fire flower area. Because that, uh. Okay, that door did tell me it needed a key. That's my bad. Let's go get another fire flower then. Okay, this this streams went on much longer than I intended, but never mind. This is a cool level. At least, yeah, at least finish this level for you. Call good. Somebody's gonna use this mother brain. <laughs> Bowser. Maybe I. I I want to keep a surprise. Don't spoil us, creator. It needs to be a surprise. Right, maybe we can get the key from this section. Okay, I only need the mushroom to continue. I don't know if I should go down that yet. I'm running out of time, but I've at least made a lot of progress with the route. Ah, power block! Okay, I'll take it. I assume mm -hmm. I have to take this down the donut thing. Yeah, I was gonna say. Which is why they let you get back up with the coins. Ah. Okay, that's that's not too mean. Yep. Okay, the door above there says power block required, which is fair. Oh no! Ah! The frame meister froze for a second. They're not the frame meister. No. The my capture card. Damn it. No. Well, I've run out of time, I think. I don't think I can get a fire flower back here quick enough. Or Why another, are you getting so close? Or another power block. I appreciate this level, but boy, not easy. Yeah. Yes, just like the original Metroid then. Alright, one more go, and then I've got to stop, because I'm... I need, I need a break. <laughs> Very reasonable. So we need to get that mushroom ASAP. Although Karibo's shoe is going to make that even easier. So I'll just get Karibo's shoe first.
I'm gonna kill Ridley. Die! And a checkpoint. And push. I just seriously I still love push. I always wondered why. Why does it need a gear? Is what I'm assuming that is on it. What? No, it's a part of the spring. Oh no, the gear. Oh right. Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you meant the spring itself. Uh, no. Uh, you mean Karibo shoe? Yeah, it does have a cute little clockwork gear on it. I just thought that was a cute, like, effect. Now. Slowly making progress. I'm just holding my breath to see what happens at the point where you couldn't make it last time. Or I can actually use this, yeah. Alright, now I can unlock the fire flower. Let's be doing Metroid music. I wish they'd make another Metroid Prime game, but that was as good as the first one. Two and three were fine, but one was exceptional. Oh yeah. Like, no one thought they would get it right. Everyone was like, no, they'll never make another one as good as Super. And then they made one almost as good as Super. Yeah, that was a surprise. Ah, damn it. I needed to keep that going. Oh, I've screwed this up now. Look, at least I've got that bit checkpointed, but still. <coughs> that was yet so far. So close, yet so far. So farce. Mm -hmm. Hello, Fuzzbail41. Fuzzball413. Hello. Your text is showing up in a very contrasting green on my Twitch chat. Although the one on stream actually looks a bit nicer. Focus on the game, you can do this, Scott. That's true. You got this. Right, Fire Flower almost unlocked again. I don't know why I'm taking the spring with me, but it does say it's required, so... <laughs> That's probably what you're doing. <laughs> Just in case. I'm watching legitimately intently, so I'm not saying a lot. It's, getting, it's getting intense. With Hunter, I see you need lights, and I tried a lot, but... I'm here. There he is. I'm... We're playing... So I was playing a, a recreation of Metroid. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, damn it! All right, we're in a we're in a pickle again. No, Scott. I'm just gonna go back and get the fire flower, which is a hassle, but it's worth it. I lost my various suit. Actually, it's more like losing, like, I don't know, the, the spacer beam or the wave beam, I guess. Did it again! It did it again! I need to fix that cable. Just get this to the end. And stuck to the desk. music's playing. And I guess this is what the spring was needed for. But I need another key. Please have the key, baby Bowser. I've come too far. Yes, he did. Whew. Oh, oh. Down in a lift. Do, 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 do. Yes. Do. It, this is happening. This is happening. Well. I just, to, I just had to say goodnight, so that's why I wasn't around for a bit. No, don't, no worries. That was pretty exceptional, uh, Morbid Curiosity. I'm going to give you a star, and I'll write you a little comment. That was good. No, seriously, I liked it. Very good effort. Are you taking level submissions? Uh, I need to go to... I need to go rest fuzzball but uh if you give us a follow uh this is gonna happen again this right? is gonna happen again so if you give us a follow um i'll try and get to your levels next time uh just look for the stream saying super mario maker with scott although we also stream a bunch of other stuff so we appreciate the follow regardless but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave uh morbid curiosity a little comment for that no that was good stuff Let's see. I, 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 since I didn't pay attention, was there a mother brain? Uh, there was, there wasn't really a mother brain, but there was a, there was a, a definitely a, a, a baby Bowser, which was maybe supposed to be created. I don't know. Oh, that works. That works. Sorry, I was, I, I, I am shameful I didn't pay attention to that particular part. But no, that was a really nice level. I liked it. Getting a, you're getting a wee, a, a wee scribble. Oh, you're drawing something. I think it deserves a drawing. No mm, good work. Uh, undo. Yes, if you give Scott and his folks a ready up a follow, no, next time. Scott does this, and you can definitely 
submit some levels. You all just kind of came in right at the tail end. So if you catch it next time at the beginning, then we have much more time for that stuff. Yeah. Blark, you still alive? I'm still here. Thank you for joining us. I just needed to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for keeping us company as well. Mm -hmm. You cool? Scott's cool. I guess I'm cool. Yeah. So Everyone's cool. <laughs> All right. And, and I'll let you know, Blark, next time uh, they stream awful visual novels because I think you'll like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of required to be there, aren't I? Uh, thank you for our latest follower, Fuzzball413. And uh, Morbid Curiosity, you shall see your comment in the top left-hand corner of the stream now. I drew you a very poor scribble of a Metroid. Um, so yeah, with that, I think I think we're done for tonight. That was a very long stream, but uh, it was good fun. Uh, big thank you. Time. Big thank you to my friend Perry, uh, her fiancé, Fontra, and... My, our, our friend Blark for keeping me company. You're uh, very much welcome. And if you let's see what we got. Be right back. Thanks for watching. That's what I wanted. Um, if you enjoyed this stream, please check out the rest of our work at ready-up.net. Uh, our YouTube archives, uh, or sorry, our Twitch archives go up on our YouTube, which is Ready Up Video, and our Twitch channel is also obviously Ready Up Video because you're there right now. Uh, you can also check out our Twitter at ReadyUp where we'll uh, announce any streams that are upcoming or other events um, and yeah so usually we do this around 8pm GMT on Fridays and Mondays but we do miscellaneous streams throughout the week as well um, so yeah thanks to everybody for joining me uh, I'm going to go rest now <laughs> Take care. Take care, everybody. everyone have a lovely weekend bye 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 <laughs>